Hello our viewers, a very good evening to you all, it's your host Mebo. Today we're having a Friday sofa conversation and well, we do have bad news. As you all know, you're all aware, Her Majesty the Queen died yesterday and it's such a great loss that's being experienced all over London and many other countries and many other places around all over the world. And we pray for her family, we pray comfort for her family and for whoever is going through, whoever is suffering the loss, and may she rest in peace. Well, in our studios today, we do have a guest, and today she's going to be sharing with us about her life. She has a, an interesting bit of it, which I believe you will be excited when you hear. She's a content creator, and well, you get to see um, get her website and her YouTube channels, and get to see some of the content she's created. It's very it's very good, funny, and well, there's a lot to learn from it if you get to see it. Well, she's going to be introducing herself. Hello, Mebe. Thank you for having me today. My name is Fasakin Olua Kemi. I'm from Nigeria. Yes, I will go with a Kemi. As you've heard, the name is a bit long. <laughs> I know I'm always, I'm used to calling her Kemi. That's well, that's the easier bit of it. Could you tell our viewers how you identify? I'm mm. a lesbian from Nigeria. Mm. I'm living in the UK. Mm. I came since 2019, September. Okay. Uh well uh well you say you're from Nigeria and I know Nigeria to be like, you know, a country with well, there's a lot of homophobia going on down there. And you just came recently. How was your life while while you were still there as a lesbian woman? Yeah, as a lesbian or girl in Nigeria, life is really difficult, yeah. It's not easy because mm. you can't tell everyone or you can't even open up that yes i'm a lesbian or this is what i am mm. yeah because your life is going to be in danger you're going to be persecuted and even people won't even like to hang hang out with you mm. yeah they see you as a sinner mm. someone who is caused yeah someone who is possessed so it's really difficult have you ever experienced direct homophobic acts, like when they were directed to you as a person when you were in Nigeria? Yeah. Mm. A lot happened. Sometimes, even the way you dress. Mm. Like me, I like dressing in a man's uh, clothing. And sometimes when you go out in this public place, yeah, you see people walk up to you or you can even hear them talk. That's why is this one dressing like this? Why are you putting on this? Are you supposed to dress this way? Are you supposed to be putting on this? Why can't you do this? This is what your fellow guests do and all of that. So it's not really good. Yeah, because our well, community has its expectations as always. Yeah. And um, what about your family? Do, did they ever like you know have any issues with the way you carried yourself? Yeah, of course. Some of those family members as well, because they are all Christians, you know, mm. because I came from a Christian family. Yeah. They w they, some of them also assume that you are possessed, you are cursed. Mm. Yeah, you don't know what you are doing. Sometimes maybe based on the friends you are hanging out with, they are the one manipulating you or you want to follow their steps. Mm. Yeah, they always believe that. Really, was anyone in your family ever aware of your sexuality? Yes. How yeah. did they? How did they take it? They have to sit it down, preach to you, change, do this. Mm. It's not accepted. And then someone gave birth to you. So are you not going to give birth and all of that? Mm. You're not going to bring charge into the world. Mm. Because they're under the perception that, well, gay people are not supposed to have kids or they can't. <laughs> yes. Well, so how about your life here in London? How has it been like? Yeah, although when mm. I first came, life was really difficult. Yeah. Mm. Because still, you can't just walk to anybody or even the people you were living, at, living with at that time. Mm. And this is who you are. This is what you are up to and all of that but with time mm. making a few friends going out yeah got to find out about opa the mcc and other places life mm. has been good yes about opa how did you come to find out about it 
Yeah, I met Teddy and uh, Andrew from Uganda, so they introduced oh. Papa to me. Okay, okay, I um, I know them. They are so good friends. Yes, yes. and f- Kemi, I know you have a YouTube channel, is it? Yeah. You are content creator. <laughs> Could you tell us more about that? Yeah, so my YouTube channel is called Fate and Sharon. Mm. Yeah, is with my friend, my best friend here in the UK. Mm. She's from Ghana. Yeah. So we came about the channel, although I brought the idea because mm-hmm. I love watching YouTube a lot. You know, <laughs> with my phone, the TV, the laptop, it's mm. YouTube. Okay. So I love watching, especially when they are doing those more bank eating, mm-hmm. the challenge and all of that. So I said, why not try this ad? You eat at home. So <laughs> why waste that time? Of course, you can do something with it. And I love cooking. Mm. So from there, we just started. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. What is, yeah, well, you, because you create content and it's about different things, but I think it's more especially about food. Yeah. What is like your target population? Like what is your... <laughs> what is to your go viral. <laughs> is to go viral. Like, go viral. like, do you have like maybe? Do you see where? Where are you driving it to? Like, apart from going viral, where do you drive? Where do you see yourself in five years with your two a million subscribers? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good one. I like it. I enjoyed. Um, there's just this one part I enjoyed the most about. Was it that egg? The eggs video. Yeah, how oh god, how did you do that? How was that real or you had to com- put stuff together, compile it? It was real. It won go. Yeah, I think Sharon won on that challenge because I was not able to eat. I think <laughs> I just ate four, but oh. you ate eight out of ten. Oh you know? my god. That was big. That was so well, it's admirable if you can. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. One of these days we will you. Oh no, not on the food <laughs> challenge. I'm not really a good good with food i can do something else um well so apart from the youtube channel what else do you do here how has been your life as a lesbian in the uk yeah my life is okay now it's good at least if you should go to upper page when i first came mm. and now you can see the difference you can mm-hmm. tell mm. yeah so yeah yeah it's good ever since i came i can express myself yeah, mm-hmm. I'm no longer in the hiding, no longer in the closet. I go to GAY, go for the Dean Street, for the meeting, and I'm opened. I'm opened. But are you in a relationship? Not yet. Don't you? Why are you waiting for? <laughs> I'm waiting for the perfect thing. Okay, perfect. all right, okay, yeah. okay. That's good. So, um, Tell us, where do you see yourself, uh, well, apart from your YouTube channel and apart from everything else, where do you see Kemi five years to come? Yeah, five years to come, you see we happily married mm. human. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and definitely go back to school. Mm. Is there anything in specific you want to study? Yeah, for now, before I have something else in mind, but mm. for now with the content creator, I would like to go more on the um, editing part and even the ICT, the computing, so mm. I'll be good with it. Yeah, that is good. That is good. Do you have a message for people back home in Nigeria? When you read, when you read those uh, news or you watch news from Nigeria back home, you see these LGBT, they kill LGBT community people. Yeah, so my message back home is is if you are an LGBT community, you just have to live your life. You don't have to live openly because it's very dangerous. You see those news, how they kill the LGBT community people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the harassment outside there is very bad. You, you wouldn't even want to experience it. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So the government basically is not doing anything to protect LGBT people? Not at all. They don't want to help. 
they don't even want to see them. So why would they help them? They are even looking for them to be persecuted, for them to be arrested, and all of that. They even want to take their lives. Mm. So they are not helping at all. You said, you said your family is aware of your sexuality. Are you still in contact with them? Yes, I'm in contact with my girlfriend back home. Okay. 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 Is there anything else you'd like to add or to share with our viewers today? It could be about your YouTube yeah. channel. It could be about anything. Yeah. So you can follow me on YouTube, Faith and Sharon, all of the social media, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere. And it is easily accessible when you go through Linktree. It just takes you to all of the social media. So it's better than Linktree. Linktree, what is that? It's Linktree. It's a hub, just like Facebook, WhatsApp, and all of that. So uh -huh. Yeah, from there, it takes you to all of the so social media platform. Okay, okay. So there we can get to see all your content yeah, and from everything. There you can see YouTube, Facebook, IG, Twitter, mm. everything. I'm sorry, how long have you been doing this, the YouTube channel? Well, five months now. Five months. Mm. Okay, okay. Well, that's good. Well, well, as you've heard, she needs you guys to see, watch, like, and follow her YouTube channel, Faith and Sharon. It is very interesting. You should just go on there. It is very interesting, the just stuff they do. Just leave a comment that you see from Opa. Yes, yes. Maybe we should also be hosted. We'll be, well, invited to, I don't know, to do God knows what. <laughs> but... <laughs> It won't be the food challenge for me. You can come and eat chapati. Chap oh, chapati, maybe, maybe. Uh, not the eggs, definitely, no, definitely. <laughs> maybe I could try that one. Well, um, that was Kemi, as I would like to call her. Yeah. Could you repeat your names for our viewers, please? Kemi is fine. Kemi is the shortcut of all of <laughs> Kemi. All of them. Well, yes, we will go with Kemi. That was Kemi with us today in our studios, and she's told us about her life briefly. And she is a cha she is a creative. She is a content creator. Her YouTube channel is very interesting. You should like and follow her. She's. It goes by Faith, Faith and, and Sharon. Sharon. Yes, it is very interesting. I watched some of it and I was like, wow, <laughs> this is it. This is it. Well, yes, she's um, she's a member of Out and Proud. She's from Nigeria, a lesbian from Nigeria. And she came out here today to share with us her story and to talk about her YouTube channel, which she has shared with you, obviously. Just go on there, like and follow her. She needs your support. She needs, well, she needs the encouragement out there. It doesn't, it takes a lot for someone to come out there and, you know, and provide such content and it's well this it's in this today life that's what we live by see we live by the youtube channels we live by instagram we live by you know facebook it's what keeps life going i mean it's everything that's happening and yeah well that has been it for today thank you so much for sharing with us kemi thank you for having me Yes, and people, do not forget our boat cruise is next week, all camouflage. Don't forget your camouflage attires. Come and be there and have a good time. Let's go rock the boat. Don't forget to bring your... <laughs> don't forget to bring your appetites <laughs> no drinks everything will be provided on the boat you just have to pay 50 pounds and be meeting at Westminster Pier more details will be shared with you before the day 50 pounds and you have your food covered eats and drinks we still have a few places left and the deadline for payments is Tuesday Deadline for payments is on Tuesday. You pay your 50 pounds. You come have a good time, have good food, have free drinks. Everything is covered just there on that one, on that, in the same place. Just have it all. Just don't forget to put on your camouflage attires. We're going to have a good time. We're going to be saying goodbye to summertime and welcoming in the cold weather. Well, it won't hurt to shake a few bonds. See you there. Bye-bye.